Hello and welcome to another lesson about formal language theory. Um, in the last video we introduced this, I, this thing called a finite state transducer. Um, in this uh, video we're going to sort of look at how those work in a little bit of a different way that is going to uh, lead us uh, to this idea of a regular relation at the end. Um, we're just going to introduce the idea of regular relations in this video. Um, the definition and the details of them will be the next video. All right, so in the last lesson, we learned that um, mostly one of the ways that we can look at what a finite state transducer is doing is that you feed it a string um, of a given regular language. It will say whether that string is allowed in your regular language, in your input language. It'll give you a little check mark if it's allowed. And as a side effect, it will spit out another string as output. So this is one way that you can very well look at um, finite state transducers, um, but it's a little bit odd in the context of um, finite state automata, which we think of at, in a different way. So when we look at what a finite state automaton is doing, we think of it as something where you feed it a string and the finite state automaton tells you that string is in the language or that string isn't in the language. Um, so in this way, what a finite state automaton does is recognize strings that are members of regular languages, right? We, we drew it as a machine um, as a add something to the top and it turns on a green light, right? It tells you if it's, if it's, a, if it's a string or not, right? Um, F FSAs um, are supposed to recognize strings, um, uh, not, they're not necessarily creating strings. We have talked about um, finite state automata as sort of something where you can use them to generate strings, but really what you're doing is recognizing strings with a finite state automaton, right? Um, this is in contrast to the way that we drew the um, the machine that's happening for a, um, a, a finite state transducer, right? Where you feed it one string, it turns on a green light, and just as a side effect, it spits this out. But what would we do, how could we re, um, how could we look at this machine that we've drawn um, in some other way that will allow it to just take input and turn on a light, just like we did up here, right? We took input and turn on a light, right? We might phrase this instead of this as as this right we have two different slots we can input stuff um, each of those two slots has an input go into it and only if those two inputs are both allowed um, according to our languages according to regular like this is a regular language string this is a regular language string of a different language and they're compatible with each other then we turn on our green light we like that so essentially what we're doing when we do this is we're saying, do we like this ordered pair of elements, this ordered pair of strings, right? It has to be ordered because they're coming in through specific slots, right? You can't put either one through either slot, right? Do we like this pairing together of these two strings? That's all that this is asking us, right? Um, uh, so this, this implies that what we're recognizing is whether something is a member of a set of ordered pairs. Now what is that? That's a relation. So this is what our finite state transducer is recognizing, right? So we have a relation R um, that relates the string ABBA to X, Y, Y, Z. And that's basically what we've written up here, right? It relates ABBA to X, Y, Y, Z right and um, and so this is a member of a set R um, and if if you feed it two strings um, if you feed it an ordered pair in other words that is a member of this then your um, transducer will return yes that's a that's a member of your language if it is not a member of this set if you feed it you know uh, PQR XM for example, it will return no, this is not a member of your um, relation, 
right? So we ask the question, is A, B, B, A, X, Y, Y, Z a member of R, right? Just like we asked, is A, B, B, A a member of set L up here when we were trying to identify languages. All right, so what this means is that finite state automata recognize regular languages. Um, FSTs, finite state transducers, recognize what are called regular relations, right? It's a relation between two um, expressions of regular languages, right? And there's something that holds them together, right? Um, so what a machine like this generates is a single ordered pair. Um, this is called um, a binary regular relation. That's the, the word for this binary because it's a single ordered pair by, right? Two, two things. Um, but you can also, as it turns out, create machines um, that accept uh, lots of lots of different um, strings and says, are they all related by some, um, by some regular relation, right? So this is like what a machine like that would look like, right? You put A, B, B, A in this slot, X, Y, Y, Z in this slot, R, N, U, V in another one, and P, N, K in another one, and it'll tell you, is that a member of your set? We call these Ennery regular relations, right? Ennery meaning like to the number N, right? To some number, right? Ennery, right? Regular relations. Um, uh, and this is what in the next video we're gonna define is how we deal with these Ennery regular relations, um, how you can generate these using a recursive definition. Um, uh, one thing I wanna remind you of though is that when we were talking about um, ordered pairs, to begin with, you can have an ordered triple like this that can always be expressed as an ordered, as, as a binary pair, right? So you can always express triples or quad, quadruples or quintuples as, um, as a pair XY paired with Z, right? So you can always break these down into binary relations. So if you start looking at these really long relations and start thinking, this is really confusing, right? Um, it might be easier for you to break them down like this. I don't know. Some people see all the brackets and get confused. Other people see the list and get lost, right? Um, but whatever is easier for you, um, you can always rewrite anything that is an an Ennery uh, pair in, or I guess it's not a pair, an Ennery uh, ordered thing um, into a pair. All right, so in the next video, um, we will talk about how we deal with the regular relations, just like we talked about the properties of regular languages, um, languages that are generated by uh, regular rules. We're gonna talk about regular relations, um, which are, relations generated by um, FSTs. All right.